is that you don't, but I want to make sure that we do cover it because again, there is so much information and there's so much, you know, to find that, you know, I don't want anybody to, to miss out. Right. I mean, you you know, your, your subscription, you know, has a ton of value and I want to make sure uh, that you get everything out of it. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Can everybody, everybody can see my screen. You can see the sports line front page right here. <clears throat> Yep. All right. Cool. Yep. All right. Perfect. So this is obviously the uh, the homepage here, um, you know, on the uh, on the desktop side. Uh, I'll, I'll use this. Uh, Mobile is a little bit more difficult, obviously, to, uh, to stream here. But if you have any questions uh, mobile wise, ask them uh, because obviously I'm familiar with it. I could look at my phone. We could walk through that uh, together. But so, you know, what you're going to find here, what we try to put on our front page is everything that's going on that day. Right. Like all the content, all the information that you need of what are the biggest games, what are the biggest events that we have going on that you're going to want to be in on. Right. So you're going to see. You know, Major League Baseball, obviously, is pretty much the only sport, you know, besides the Olympics uh, that's on right now. So we're definitely going to make sure that you see all these at the top, uh, that you're going to see, you know, uh, all of our model picks, you know, in article form uh, for the NBA draft tomorrow night. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you're going to see, you know, more stories. And these are really, you know, the most the, the, the articles that are getting the most clicks. It's kind of just, you know, uh, built to, to sit there. Right. So what most people are looking at is generally what most people want to see. So that's really it. You know, you scroll down, obviously, you see the expert picks, et cetera, things like that. We get rid of this video. Um, you'll see, you know, our experts here uh, in terms of their, you know, numbers, et cetera, things like that. But you can easily scroll through and find, you know, exactly what you want to do now. So jumping out of that and going into let's just use Major League Baseball, uh, because obviously, you know, it is, uh, you know, the sport that's playing right now. So um, when you click up here and you see MLB. So when you toggle between these, all right, these sports, obviously, we want to provide everything that we have housed under those sports so that you can find it. So if you're looking at, you know, straight NFL, we're going to hit you with the picks page that you're going to see that. But. You know, you're going to find all your information in terms of pool pickums, odds, futures, odds, uh, et cetera, things like that. So we'll jump over to Major League Baseball um, and just use that for right now. So you'll see our picks. And again, <clears throat> these are, you know, just the games, uh, you know, the schedule today. You could, you know, toggle through if you want to look at, you know, bet types, all of them. If you want to look at just spreads, you want to look at money lines, you look at over unders, et cetera, things like that. So, um, go through here and let's just take a look at a game. Let's pick one that we've got going tonight that hasn't started. Uh, we'll use the Rockies and angels game tonight. So when you go here, uh, obviously we're going to give you a, pro uh, a projected score. What this is, is out of 10,000 simulations. Uh, this is the score aggregated out of those 10,000. All right. And then we're going to break down each bet for you right here. So you're going to see the run lines uh, 62%. So the percentage is what they are is when we run those 10,000 simulations, uh, Colorado plus one and a half that hit 62% of the time. So 6,200 times that bet hit. So we're going to grade that with a B uh, and I'll explain the grades here in one second, go to the money line, same deal, uh, the percentages. So, you know, that hit in 40%. The reason that we have a B on there and you know, what our grades mean is obviously it's, you know, a mixture of how many times did those bets hit, coupled with what is the value on those bets. So, you know, obviously you look right here, well, that's 40%. Well, that means that, that you know, the Angels actually, you know, won this game 60% of the time. However, <clears throat> you know, minus 210, like that's a ton of juice on there, right? So, you know, we put the value there of, hey, it, it hit 40%, it's okay. Uh, we're not saying go with it, but we're just saying if you're looking for value and you're looking to, you know, kind of truly gamble, take a shot. This is one of your better options to do so. Uh, same thing, you know, with the total here, um, you know, over nine, 67 percent of Sims uh, it hit. And you can see, obviously, you look at the projected score here. We've got oh, what 11 point seven, um, you know, total. So. That kind of explains that. Now, let me explain the grading system of what we do. All right. And you'll see the simulations right here. It's the exact same thing that we were just looking at it. So uh, green, uh, that's going to be your A grades. Uh, you know, the orange is going to be your B grades, moderate uh, C grades are going to be in the blue. And how we go about that is this is that. A grades are what we recommend taking. Now, doesn't mean that they're going to hit every time. Obviously, everybody's probably seen they don't. If they did a sub would cost about $60,000. You know what I'm saying? Like, but 
you know, those are, you know, time and time again, um, those are what we suggest taking. That's what we can put our name behind. When you have a B grade here, um, you know, either you've got a high percentage um, or you've got a really nice, uh, you know, kind of juice value there, uh, generally kind of mixed in between. So a B grade is we're not recommending it in terms of saying, hey, you know, pound the table, you know, take this pick, right? Like we're not doing that, but we are saying it's pretty good. Like you've got a better than fair shot of doing so. And if you're looking for games and you're kind of grading out everything that's on the board on the slate for that night, these are pretty good. Uh, but again, like you'll see all of our numbers uh, in terms of our experts, et cetera, things like that. Like we grade those, um, you know, like you'll see here, the SDQL, like we'll just use what they pick. But, you know, when you see uh, grades come out at the end of each season of, you know, how we did in Major League Baseball, college football, the NFL, we use A grade picks. So that's where it comes from, because those are the ones that we're saying take. And a big thing to remember is this, is that, you know, bets are living, right? Like, you know, when you've got an NFL game and it's Monday and they don't play till Sunday. Well, obviously lines are moving. So you're going to see, uh, you know, different grades come out on the exact same uh, game. So always remember that, you know, baseball is a little more difficult because you don't have a lot of lead time in between. You know, lines will certainly move and our grades will, too. Uh, but that's the beautiful part about it is that you'll see, you know, like an NFL game, uh, you know, these percentages and everything move with the line. So we are constantly updating and running those simulations based on the new numbers so that you have have everything available to you. So if you're looking at, say, week one, the Packers, you know, plus three against the Saints, well, we've got a great grade on that because Aaron Rodgers just came back. The line, it's already moved to plus one. But you can see that, you know, we're going to have a much higher grade, obviously, on plus three than we're going to have on plus one. So I hope all that kind of makes sense. Um, another thing. So you've got all that. All right. I want to stop right there. Any questions just in regards to the grading system, percentages, simulations? I know I just threw a ton at you. I want to pause it right there for a second. Any thoughts that you guys have there? Hey, Alan. Yeah, Alan, really, really quick. Um, yeah. How does when looking at the individual game page like we're on now, how does mm -hmm. that translate into the main page, the main MLB page? Uh, what do you mean uh, in terms of like the picks page, like with all the games? Yes. Gotcha. Yes. OK, so let me go back to it. All right. So uh, you talk about this screen right here, right? Yep. Yep. Perfect. Okay. So how this works is this, is that this is essentially just kind of, you know, if you had a whiteboard, a chalkboard, you know, of every game. Uh, that's on there that day. This is the list of that. And then you could dig deep, uh, deeper, you know, into each game, you know, that you want to, but you will see, you know, on this page right here, and let me get out of the games that already started because it can get a little confusing. So we'll just start right here. So you can see this Rockies angels game that we were just looking at. So we're going to hit you with a projected score right here. You're going to have your over under, uh, you're going to have, you know, your, uh, your money line price. Uh, we're going to show you how many expert picks that we have. Uh, and then we're going to show you, you know, the best grade available on that game. So you can see the over nine that we were looking at. You've got a projected score of 11.7. So that's the best grade. So really with this page, what we want to do is just kind of hit you with, you know, enough information that you can kind of take a look. But obviously you're going to, you know, before you bet it, you're probably going to look more and want to look at the information. You know what I mean? So does that kind of does that kind of answer your question? Does that help? Yeah, I, yeah, I was curious on what um, what came into the prediction column. So that's that's just the best. That's just the best ranking for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Whether it be over under or game. Okay, great. Yep. That's yep. Perfect. Yeah, you got it, man. Uh, any other questions? Nope. I got one out. Hey, yeah. in regards to like, especially at this time of the year, in regards to baseball. Uh, you know, it's very unpredictable in regards to what players are going to be in the lineup or be pulled out last minute kind of thing. Uh, like right now, Joey Gallo got pulled out, right? Yeah. Uh, got traded to the Yankees. Uh, so how often does the site update that or like try to – I know it's very hard to do, but how, how often does it update thinking yeah. like, if, if something might happen, if yeah. something might occur? That's a great question. Great question. So uh, I'll go ahead and I'll give you a better example than baseball. Let me use NFL and the, I'll show you why. So we'll take a look at this Dallas Tampa game, uh, the, uh, the, the Thursday night kickoff game, right? So when you go to DFS projections, uh, we're going to have, you know, 
uh, broken down. Basically, essentially, you're starting lineups, you know, of, you know, scoring type players. And with the NFL, you have uh, uh, injury reports, you know, your uh, your active inactives that come out an hour and a half before games. So we will update that. It generally takes us, you know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes to get that in. So relatively speaking, it's pretty quick, um, you know, with Major League Baseball, with uh, uh, the NBA as well. Those things, those scratches can happen like five minutes before a game. So it gets a little more difficult, right? Like if it's five minutes before, yeah, like we're, we're going to be stuck. We're not going to be able to help you out on that. But, you know, when it's something that, that you have that day, if it's, you know, more than an hour away from, uh, you know, the kickoff or tip or whatever, yeah, we'll, we'll get we'll get that up. So I, I, does that kind of answer your question? Does that help? Yeah, it does. It's more more yeah related to football than than baseball and basketball. Yeah, sense. like it makes, it makes total sense. Yes, hundred percent. Yeah, baseball and and, and you know basketball th- those are more difficult because they just don't give you much lead time. And I'll right. I'll, I'll tell you this: um, the reason that the NFL has injury reports throughout the week and uh, active inactives an hour and a half before kickoff is one thousand percent gambling wise. Like mm-hmm. they're never going to say it. But that's the reason that they instituted it. So the NFL gets it. They've been ahead of this curve uh, yeah, for a long time. Like Bill Belichick gives you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, dude. Yeah, exactly. Like, of course, he's the one, dude. The hoodie's just not helping you out at all. Um, so, all right. So we'll go back to uh, baseball here. Let's go back to the game that we were just looking at. So uh, moving beyond, you know, just the, uh, the, you know, the betting line, so to say, right, the run line, spread, total, et cetera, things like that. So when you scroll down here, you know, we're going to show you line movement. And again, you know, in baseball, it's a little more difficult because, you know, the lines just don't move all that much and you don't have a lot of lead time. But NFL wise, you know, you're going to see all week and you're going to see, you know, up, down, up, down. And you can, you know, toggle through money line. You can toggle through spread. You can talk, you know, over, under, et cetera, things like that. You're also going to get on the side here. Uh, where we've got our simulation percentages, which is what we looked at up here. But you're also going to get the public, right? So where is the public at? So, uh, you know, only 23% on the uh, Rockies plus one and a half. So that goes to tell you, uh, you know, that that most of the public is on, what is that, 77% uh, on the uh, Angels minus one and a half, right? So we want to give you that information too. Um, you know, some people like to uh, fade the public. Some people like to ride the public, but it just gives you an idea. Plus you can use this, per- you know, these percentages, especially, you know, in football, when you have a week to look at it, you can use these percentages to kind of understand where the line is going to go. So if you've got, you know, uh, let's say a Titans minus two against the Cardinals in week one, and you're seeing that percentage, you know, on Monday, it's 78% Titans. And then you look on Tuesday morning, it's 81% Titans. Well, that goes to show you the line's probably going to go Titans favor, right? So it might go to two and a half. It might go to three here pretty soon. So it gives you an idea. So if you're somebody who is betting on the Titans, you could say, all right, well, it's at two right now. The line's probably going to move. Let me go ahead and get on it now. Or if you're on the opposite side, if you're looking at the Cardinals and it's Monday and you're seeing that it's just Titans, Titans, Titans betting, you're saying, well, you know what? I'm going to wait a couple of days. Like, let's let the sign get up to three, maybe three and a half. Uh, and, and, you know, I could get as many points as possible with the Cardinals. So that's why we put that information there. Uh, and that updates, uh, you know, all throughout the day. Uh, you, you could check the site 10 different times and you'll probably get different percentages based on the betting. Like it's, it's that up to date. Uh, so, yep, yeah, down here, we're going to give you, you know, statistical information, you know, money line over under. You could toggle through there and really just kind of give you an idea of, you know, how's this team on the road? The Rockies, 22 percent. Angels, 54 percent at home. And we're just going to hit you with all these like just data points that you might want to know. Again, you know, it's not like, uh, you, you know, you only use these like we want to give you the full suite of information so that you can make the best decisions possible. Right. So you can go through you can see the projections up here. You can scroll through here. Um, you know, look at this information and say, okay, this kind of aligns with, you know, where the projections are. It kind of aligns with, you know, where my head is at, you know, and once you kind of check those boxes, you're like, okay, I feel a whole lot better about this bet. Um, so, yeah, so we want to give you that. You can see in the game logs here and you can toggle through it. You can see Colorado, you know, their last, really, you can see all of them. Um, you know, you can just kind of go through, uh, you know, w- did they, you know, cover? Uh, over under, et cetera, things like that. So, yeah, so we just want to give you all that information. Now, the next part of this is this. So, obviously, you'll see expert picks. You can toggle through that, see who's all made a pick on it. 
This is the biggest part, and this is a large part that a lot of people don't use, and I definitely want to make sure uh, that we go over it. So with our DFS projections, now you're going to see you know, the top three players, and if anybody follows Mike McClure on here and, and you play DFS, you use his information, uh, it's generally going to align. He runs you know, his own models. Uh, with that, but you know what we want to do is give you, you know, projected points, price, you know, et cetera, things like that. But here's the thing: so we're going to take it one step further, and we're going to give you our projected stats, and these are straight from the same simulations, the ten thousand simulations that we use on the score. And the reason why this is so important is because this is your prop betting information, right? So when we have numbers like this of, you know, hits 1.09, that's how many times, uh, you know, got a hit, uh, run scored, et cetera, RBIs, uh, total bases, stolen bases, walks, et cetera. Like we want to give you all that information, um, you know, so that if you're playing props, which I do, I'm sure a lot of you guys do too, it gives you that information. So you could say, all right, well, I've got this data here. Let me go to, you know, William Hill or whatever book that you use. And you could kind of compare and you could kind of take notes and you'll see where the variances are. And you might have, you know, a big variance over. You might have a big variance under on whatever, you know, statistical prop that you're going to bet. But we definitely want to give you that info. And let me use an NFL one of the same way because it's much kind of just, you know, a little bit easier to digest. So we go back to this Cowboys Bucks game. And again, it's the exact same. It looks the exact same. We want it to be, um, you know, very, very, you know, identical so that all of it, you know, makes very digestible and quick reading. But you can see. So in week one, I mean, we've simulated this game. We've given you a projected score. Uh, same, you know, kind of information in terms of graded bets, et cetera. But we're going to take a look and say, all right, you know, we simulated this game 10,000 times. The, you know, Brady is 24 for 38, 290 yards, uh, 2.6 touchdowns, 84% uh, chance of throwing an interception. There's your fumble percentage, fantasy points, et cetera, things like that. So you can use this information. And if you're, you know, placing your props, you could say, all right, Leonard Fournette, you know, his over under is 57 yards. Well, we got it projected at 45 that, you know, that's a 12 yard difference. Like there's value there to be had. A lot of them you're going to see are pretty close. So you want to use, you know, kind of more information to find, you know, your best plays on there. But you'll absolutely go through here and look and you will see, you know, we had a ton of them, obviously, you know, in the NBA finals, uh, NBA playoffs uh, in terms of, you know, Pat Connaughton rebound, you know, shots, threes, et cetera, things like that. Like you'll find your value there. So we want to give you that information uh, and we want you to have that so you can look at it at any point. And, you know, once those props come out, you can make your best decisions there. So we're not just hitting you with uh, the game. We're hitting you with prop bets that you can use. So I'll pause right there. Uh, any questions that anybody has in regards to that? Alan, is there any kind of statistical tracking to know how these props did like, you know, Brady, the estimates on Brady's yards have, you know, gone over the prop the last five times in a row or something like that? Yeah, so that's a great question. So we're working on that. We, we just hired uh, a new data analyst. <clears throat> to do exactly that, to grade and to track this information. So we don't have it yet, but we will. So that's a fantastic question. And we should have that up. Hopefully by the start of NFL season, um, you know, it might take a little bit of time, but we'll definitely have it for, you know, spreads, um, you know, money lines, uh, totals, things like that. Um, and we'll, it'll take a little bit more for the props, but yeah, we're working on getting that. So great question there. Uh, any other questions in regards to, uh, to these? Everybody good. Okay. Yeah. And again, uh, you know, if you got something, Hey, just shout it out. You know, don't, don't feel bad about interrupting me. Trust me. Uh, you're good on that. So hey, uh, hey, yeah. I'm sorry, just quickly before you proceed in regards to the C grade with the slight lean, that's more for like really degenerate gamblers. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, hey, like some really I really don't want to need to bet, but it's like if you really want to bet, uh, here's something where the value might be. In <laughs> exactly. Right. Okay. Like, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, it, it's something to where I mean, you'll see like, you you know, over 51 and a half. It hit in 60 percent of simulations. You know, um, we're we graded a C because it's week one and really anything can happen. Like if we had, say, if this was week six and we had five games of statistical information, you know, and uh, kind of, you know, the five game historicals, 
like this would probably be pretty close to an A grade. But with it being week one, uh, there's some risk there. So that's why we grade it as a C, but that's also why we give you the percentage. So I, I'll tell you this. I've already bet the over on this game uh, because I feel good. Week ones are generally a lot more high scoring than people think. And you could see, you know, our projected score. I think, we've yeah, we've got it at 58. So, yeah, man, like that's that's why you'll see a C grade there. Um, but don't let it always deter you. Like we're not coming out with it saying, you know, just banging the table saying you have to absolutely take this. But we are giving the percentage saying, yeah, there's risk here, but you might find some value, too. So I hope that that helped. Did that, did that answer your question? Yeah, that, yeah, that thing. Like, Sweet, man. For sure. Cool. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. So. You know, with the NFL, we'll keep it here really quickly. So you could see, um, you know, we have so much information and so many things. Like, so a lot of people play pool pickums. You know, in terms, uh, we've got a you know a, a ton of information here uh, on, on you know our experts here. So we've got Mike Turn uh, Tierney, who we use, also our computer. So if you're somebody who plays like a Survivor League, things like that, um, you know, we're gonna give these picks, and then we'll also. Uh, hit it in an article, and that's about that's what I'm going to get to right now. So, <clears throat> when taking a look at that um, that Cowboys uh, Bucks game, so that's one piece of information. Okay, now what we also want to do is, like I just said, so we want to give you all of that, but we also want to make sure that you have everything available for that game. So if you go to analysis here, these are all of our paid pieces and you could toggle through on whatever sport that you're looking for uh, to keep it, you know, a little simple. So you go to NFL here, right? So now it's going to, you know, toggle through of just NFL games and you could see the information that we have here, right? So if anybody, you know, gets in, you know, a super contest, et cetera, things like that, like RJ white, our guy, like he plays that every single year. We've got win totals, everything that you need to know in terms of that Super Bowl odds. We keep that updated. Um, you could take a look here. Uh, a ton of, you know, uh, old like NFL draft type stuff, mock drafts that we have, um, et cetera. Like, obviously, that'll be much more full, you know, as we get you know closer to preseason, et cetera, things like that. But if you look at like MLB, which is going on right now, you know, we're going to hit you every single day with Wednesday. Here is, you know, a 14 to one parlay that our computers found with the highest percentages so that you can easily take a look and you say, all right, man, like, I'm, you know, I'm thinking about a parlay today. What do we got? Well, that's exactly what we want to do. So we've got our percentages here of, you know, kind of your best bet. So we're going to, you know, throw you. 14 to one parlay. It's a four. They're generally all four legs and you could just easily scroll through here, see what the pick is, how much, you know, they won and how many, you know, percent of simulations projected score, et cetera. So that's, you know, kind of what, you know, we're putting out as your best parlay option. Doesn't mean you have to take all four. You could take two, you could take three, you can do whatever you want. You could take, you know, you could take these four and add two more. Right. So we just want to give you that information and, you know, be, we want to be, you know, more than just, uh, you know, just the graded picks, which, you know, by themselves, they're fantastic, but we have so much good information and so many good experts here that we want to break these things down too. So you could see, and you can generally go through uh, and find, you know, large games of that day. Uh, you could see this was uh, yesterday's parlay Mondays, et cetera, uh, things like that. Now, um, you know, when we're looking here, if anybody is, you know, a, a DFS player, fantasy player, you know, we've got, daily fantasy hub that you could access immediately. You could see Mike McClure, all his information, you know, right there. Simple. You can look at his player projections for the day of what he has, and you can find all that toggle through here to season long fantasy. Uh, we're going to do the same thing with all of our guys, Bowman, RJ white, uh, things like that. We're going to get, you know, player projections, et cetera, for the entire season. Plus, you know, really our cheat sheets too, which a lot of people don't take advantage of. You have this, you know, at your fingertips and you can take through, obviously, you know, pretty much everybody's done their fantasy baseball draft because we're past the all-star break, but you can see, you know, exactly what you have at your fingertips. And I'll show you here uh, NFL wise in terms of that. It's the same kind of look. Now here is, you know, the exact same thing. We're talking about season long daily fantasy, but in NFL now, for your fantasy leagues, you have all this information at your fingertips. And look, we're going to break it down by whichever app, you know, app that you use. If you use CBS Fantasy, ESPN, Fantrax, NFL Network, Yahoo, whatever, you're, you know, standard scoring PPR, 
non PPR, how many teams are in here? Say, all right, standard scoring ESPN, 10 teams, hit me with that Excel, right? So you could pull this up uh, immediately and uh, pull it up here. And we're just going to give you optimal um, uh, rankings in terms of round, in terms of where, uh, you know, you can find value on these guys, optimal position ranking, uh, et cetera, all kinds of things uh, just like this. So, you know, we're going to project exactly what round, uh, you know, that he's he's been drafted in, but also where you want to draft that player. Uh, and then also bye weeks as well. So you'll have a lot of this info, uh, you know, actually in your war rooms, obviously, you know, uh, on your site. But what we want to do is just give you the information specifically based on what type of league that you're in. If it's a 10, 12 league, which is, you know, much different than a 12 team league, much different than a 16 team league. Right. So we update this information based off of all that. Uh, yeah. So, all right. So our meeting will end in 10 minutes. Uh, I want to make sure I, I've got so much more uh, that I want to go through. And like I was going to say, we're, I'm going to do this every week um, because once we get closer to games, we could, you know, we could make it much more simple and look at exactly what we have going on that week. So you've seen the analysis page. I showed you that you've got the fantasy area here. Uh, you got your optimal rankings. You can look at, you know, the Olympics. Like I said, we've got all this information in regards to whichever sport and you could search here too. You know, if you want to say like golf, right, you want to look at, you know, the golf bets, boom, you could pull that up very quickly. And here are, you know, your futures odds from Mike McClure scroll down. He's going to hit you with his betting card, uh, his top five finishes, everybody that he's betting on, how many units, et cetera. Uh, and you can find that, you know, really at the drop of a hat. So another area, uh, that I want to look at, you know, you could, you could take your tools. If anybody is, you know, uh, somewhat brand new, or you just kind of want a refresher, we've got all this information in regards to pretty much anything that you could think of in terms of it. We've got betting calculators, parlay calculators, which a lot of your apps already have that information, but you know, you can have it on site to use it if you need it. Uh, another area that I want to take a look, and these are two big ones that a lot of people, uh, don't really look at as well. So first off our news area, which this is completely free. You don't have to be a subscriber at all uh, to find this information. And really what we try to do is like, all right, so we try to give you, uh, you know, betting information based off of, you know, that day uh, of what's going on. So you see, you know, the, uh, the Starling Marte trade, right? So we're going to take our uh, advanced model. We're going to simulate the rest of the season based off of that trade. So without them, 87.4 winning percentage with them, 88.9. And you're going to see the difference here. So if anybody is a futures better, et cetera, things like that, you could see the difference of what that trade is going to be, right? So we want to give you that information in terms of, you know, what does it look like winning the division, making the playoffs, uh, you know, the LCS, you know, so the World Series, et cetera, things like that. So it's going to be really based off of, you know, the games that you have that day. Uh, you know, our Early Edge podcast, we break these down, um, you know, in article form uh, as well. So you can see exactly what, uh, you know, what the crew is on. Uh, I was on Astros Mariners over eight and a half. Luckily that hit, I've been on a, a disaster run the last four days. So it was nice to get that, but yeah, like this is all in, you know, free uh, content that we have, uh, you know, based off of that Zach Wilson, uh, you know, Max Scherzer, his trade odds, et cetera, uh, different things like that. So yeah, you can see all of that. Um, that is completely free. Another thing that I want to show you uh, is this um, is that, we have a great plethora of sports line newsletters, right? So we've got a daily newsletter that we send out every single day based on the, that day's games. So anybody like you certainly want to sign up for these uh, because we're going to hit you that information. And, you know, sometimes it's, it's tough to go find it every single day. We're going to hit you that in the morning, right? So we've got it there. We've got it on fantasy. Uh, we've got it strictly college football and NFL college basketball and NBA golf uh, and horse racing, which if anybody's into horse racing, we have some phenomenal experts uh, in terms of that. So yeah, make sure, you know, scroll through here, sign up for these. Obviously they're completely free, whether you're a subscriber or not. Um, and we're going to hit you that information uh, daily. 